we are moving on to our maths. Mm, two t-shirts, tens, and units. That's the word sheet that you should be having in front of you right now. First things first, we write the date. It is our maths date. So 1-7-2020. And write your name at the back. Now, we can see a clothesline with the numbers 34, 70, 49, 11, 6, and 53. Then there are a bunch of shoes that have num some, a number of units and a number of tens. Okay, this is place value, grade 2. Remember place value, where we put our numbers into our houses. Do you still remember our houses? The units house, the tens house, and the hundreds house. Um, we always work from right to left when we are working with place value. So let's take a look at the teacher's notes here at the bottom. It says at the top, look at the numbers on the t-shirts and color the trainers, these are the trainers, the shoes, showing the same number of tens and units to match. So, <clears throat> the number 34. If you color the, let's say, you color 34 as red, Please don't color the way that I do, color it nicely. <laughs> then we look at the number 34 and we put it in our houses. Units, tens. Remember from right to left and we always start with units and then tens. How many units? Four. So now we go look for the shoe. Four units and that also is colored red. Three tens. So we color the shoe that says three tens, red. The next one, if we color this t-shirt, oh, that's not working. Oh, it is, it is. If we color this one, I don't know, brown, I'm coloring it brown, we put it into our homes. So we work from the back. Units and tens. How many units? Zero. So no units is also colored the same color as that t-shirt. Seven tens is colored the same color as that t-shirt. Please color nicely, don't color the way that I did. <laughs> Next one. 49, we put it into our homes, units and tens. Uh, if this one is, let's say, blue, then the one that the shoe that says nine units must also be colored blue, and the shoe that says four tens must also be colored blue. Pause the video um, to, cut, to do your coloring or whatever. I'm going to move on. Next number, 11. We start at the back again, units, tens. Uh, if this one is green, one unit will be colored green. One ten will also be colored green. Next t-shirt says six units. There's no other house, there's one number and that one number is a unit. Okay, because we always start with our units. So if this is orange, six units, the shoe that says six units must also be colored orange. And then how many tens in this number? Zero, grade two, there are no tens. So this one will also be colored orange. Good, and then we look at the last one. We start from right to left, units, tens. Uh, if this is, what color have we not? Purple. Then the shoe that says three units must also be colored purple. And the shoe that says five tens must also be colored purple. All right, now we are going to look at the bottom. At the bottom, we are going to break these numbers up according to their houses. 
So the number 42, they want to know how many tens in the number 42 and how many units in the number 42, okay? Now we put them in our houses. Start from right to left, always units first, then tens, then hundreds if there was, then thousands, like that. So, how many tens in the number 42? Four tens. How many units? Two units. Okay, look at the number 55. We put it in our houses. Units tens. How many tens in the number 55? Five. How many units in the number 55? Five. The last four you are going to do on your own. So we have the number 60. Units, tens. Remember to always start from the back. The last number is always a unit. Always, always, always. So how many tens? Write it down. How many units? Write it down. Next one will only be units because that's what we always start with and that's the only number we have. So how many tens in this number? How many units in this number? Alright, the number 91. Units, tens. Last number is always a unit and then it's the tens house next to it. How many tens in the number 91? Write it down. How many units in the number 91? Write it down. Good, and then the last number, units, tens. How many tens in the number 19? Write it down. And how many units in the number 19? Write it down. That's it, grade two. Um, I know for me, this was very quick. For you, I'm hoping it wasn't because I'm hoping that you paused in between and did it properly. Um, but yeah, splitting numbers into tens and units is very important for you to have an idea of what that number is made of, okay? So um, remember, with place value, the last number is always a unit and then we move on to the higher numbers. Okay, so when you start to put your numbers into houses, remember to always put your unit in its house first because that's how you know what the rest of the numbers will be and the unit will always be the last digit in that number. Good, we are moving on to science next and then you guys have your handwriting which you will do on your own.